Welcome. If you're new here, my name is Jen and I'm a car designer and creative based in Detroit. And on today's video, I'm going to take you on a little tour of my at-home workspace. I moved into my current home, which is a 100-year-old house built in the 1920s in suburban Detroit, and I moved here about six years ago when I relocated for work. Over the years, I've slowly put more effort into developing a comfortable at-home workspace. Pre-pandemic, I would have used this space for freelance work or just personal projects, but like many other people, since the pandemic started, I've been working completely from home for about a year now. Because the house is so old, it does have a lot of character. It has this wonderful big room that I'm using as a studio, but I decided to divide the space into two functional areas. One for mostly doing active work and one as more of a lounge area. For the overall color palette, I wanted to keep things simple, mostly neutrals, black, white, and grays with accents of wood. Starting with the work area, the main focus is around the desk where I spend most of my time. The desk is from an old drafting table. I've since gotten rid of the base. It was a very heavy metal base that was really difficult when I moved. Replaced it with this wood base, which just is much easier to move and makes a lot more sense for me. I love the amount of space that it gives me to spread out when I work, and the wood gives a really nice warm touch. I invested in this chair shortly after the pandemic began, and I was spending so much time working from home, I really needed a chair that was a really comfortable ergonomic option. After some searching, I found this one on Amazon for about $340. If you guys are interested, I will put the link for it in the description below. The wall shelf, the larger picture frames, and the puck lights are all from Ikea. The puck lights give a nice, soft, ambient light in the background. I really wanted that because it helps reduce eye strain when you're staring at a computer screen for hours on end. I mounted them with some pieces of wood and a few angle brackets from the hardware store, and I used the frames to help hide the cords. I found the artwork images on Pinterest and had them printed through a photo lab, but eventually I want to replace them with some of my own photography eventually down the road. The computer setup is currently a Wacom Cintiq 22HD which is powered by an HP laptop. Um, the laptop I purchased in college a few years back, it's still chugging along, but I'm probably gonna end up replacing it soon. So like I said, my workstation, I love it, but I'm probably gonna end up upgrading and replacing the laptop in a few months. If you guys have any recommendations, um, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll be doing some research and trying to figure out what the best option is for me. Complementing my main workstation, last year I added the iPad Pro to my toolbox. It's really easy to just throw it in my bag and go, and I've absolutely fallen in love with this tablet. And on the back of my desk, I keep most of my drawing supplies organized in these nice little clear acrylic containers that I found from the container store. Off to my right side, you'll probably notice this small sheepskin rug that I picked up from Ikea. Uh, the reason why it's here is the cat loves to lay in front of this radiator in the winter time, so I figured I'd make it a little more comfortable for him. Moving on to the shelving area. These shelves are Vitz Joe series from Ikea. I use them for storing art supplies and displaying some of the items that I've collected over the years. I use boxes from the container store to organize and hide random art supplies and paperwork. The car model is from college. It was part of my senior thesis project and it's a painted one-fifth scale clay half model. I have a small collection of art and design books that I've put together over the years. Um, a few of them are car design books, some are art anatomy and pinup girl art, and a few are just artists that I personally like or that really inspire me. So now let's move on to like the loungier side of the room. The lounge area is much more simple and uncluttered. The main part of the lounge is just what separates the spaces, which is this large leather sectional sofa that I picked up from Ikea a few years ago. The coffee table actually I picked up recently from Target, and I think it's part of their Magnolia home collection. The TV is wall mounted with a shelf underneath and the two accent lamps also from Ikea. In the corner, I like to keep my framed diploma from design school. 
So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for touring my home studio and allowing me to share it with you. I found this space to be very comfortable to work in. And if you're interested in any of the items that I've showed, I'll try to list them in the description down below. If you have a great home studio space, I'd love to see it also. Tag me on Instagram. I'm always looking for inspiration and new ideas about how I can upgrade my home studio. Thanks again, guys. Stay creative and I'll see you in the next video.